hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 8 blog series so guys now uh, in this video we are going to learn about how to set up your front end panel and set up a nav bar over here okay to view all your categories data okay so guys now let's get started so first let's move to our editor and let's set up a home page okay so let's close all the files not required now here we go on the route web.php and at the top you find that route okay so guys let's remove this we don't require it now let's set up a route over here route colon colon get method where you will tell forward slash here we are going to assign the controller guys okay so now guys let's create the controller for it so let's go to terminal create the controller php artisan make colon controller where inside the front end folder forward slash front end controller okay let's hit enter controller created successfully and now let's go to the controller and you find that front end where front end controller okay so now let's copy the path so yep here front end forward slash front end controller okay let me just front end controller and now guys let's give the path called index and now let's copy this go to your front end controller and create the function so public function with the function name index and let's return view where your home page works so let's create one front end folder and inside that let's tell that home or index okay so index will be fine so now guys let's create the path let's go to resource views and inside views i am going to create a folder called front end and inside this front end let's create a file named index.blade.php perfect so now guys uh, let's see the output of your hello front end so yep now if you refresh here you find hello front end cool so now guys let's extend and make all the setup over here so you can just tell extend where layouts dot app okay so which is in your layouts folder app dot blade dot php okay so guys you can find all the codes over here and here is our css linked already so in this style dot css is nothing but bootstrap code let me just show you asset css styles.css okay so this is a bootstrap version done and then you need to link your bootstrap bundle file okay and one more thing we need that is your jquery cdn link okay so jquery link we need that we have already created let's go to js and here is your jquery min.js file let's copy that and call it perfect so all done guys and now let's extend this app file so it's already extended and now let's divide with the section so inside this content why this content is because we are using the content over here okay so that content is called over here and now let's end the section End section save let's echo and check hello so yep perfect so you see that navbar also is set over here right so now guys what we have to do uh, let's set up the navbar design as this design okay so this fund of web it navbar header and this is your navbar legs okay so we will set up like this so guys now let's get started let's go and let's go to our app 
here we go and here you see that by default the navbar is given right we don't require this okay so you can just keep up a backup for this or else let's remove and throw not required over here so let's remove this so now guys we will create one file and include that as a navbar so let's go to inc folder inside your layouts and let's create a front end navbar so let's tell as front end hyphen navbar dot blade dot php file okay let's copy that here it is and get back is the include function call the path layouts dot inc dot your front end blade file okay so just set up like this that's it so now guys you need to paste the code over here so i'm going to use the bootstrap 5 here we go on get bootstrap.com and let's go to docs so we are on bootstrap 5.1 okay and let's search for navbar so here is your navbar okay we are going to move with this design so yep guys now let's get back and first thing we are going to set up as global navbar give a container row column md4 it's md and inside this you are going to save your logo okay so let me just give that a set and here assets forward slash images forward slash logo dot jpg or png let me check out if i have any image okay so i don't have any image right now let me create it a folder named images and inside this image i need a logo done and let's give the class over here where width 100 percent and this is your logo area okay so now guys this will be the logo area and now let's create for the advertising area okay so you can just let me add as h5 tag advertise here all done and now guys let's come into the second part let's go and copy on navbar code copy it and paste let me close this terminal so first step guys let's uh, remove this form tag we don't require it done and let me just align this is the navbar brand over here we don't require we already set it right so let me remove this well done coming to the ul here margin end let's make it to margin start and this is your menu links okay so now guys let's see the output for this first okay let's get back here you refresh okay it's telling that we have called wrong function for this asset it's a double s e t asset okay so you can see that so now let's call the logo first and here you see in images i have pasted one logo called logo dot png png and you can add one border p2 and the advertising is going to be in text center so let me make this to column 3 and let this be 9 save and here we see the output perfect so guys let's make this uh, navbar design to different and let me align this in center okay so guys now let's set up that so yep over here inside column 9 let me add that margin top and bottom auto and here is your container fluid let's make it to container and instead of bg light let's make it to bg green okay so bg green we don't have a class 
So let's go back to our app blade.php and let's create one custom.css file. So, yep. Here you go in CSS and create custom.css file and make sure you have linked it correctly. Okay. Perfect. So now guys, let's add BG green and background color green. So I have one code over here, BG green. Let's copy that and paste. So this will be the BG green color. Let's make it to important. All done. And getting back to your nav bar. So now let's see the output. Perfect. Okay. So we need to make this as white text. So instead of nav bar light, let's make it to dark. Perfect. So now guys, you need to add your custom CSS to make, make it look more better. So let me just code and show you the CSS code. Okay. So now guys, I have just written the code. Let's copy this and paste in your custom.css file. All set. And let's get back to the here and we don't require this active. Let's remove that just set it to nav link let's refresh and here you see the difference okay so once again let's refresh the padding is not working guys let's add that important so yep let's copy this add the important save here it works cool so now guys uh, in this video that's it we have successfully seen that how to set up your front end panel okay so let's continue next video about how to fetch this categories and display its post and all in the nav bar and as per that requirement okay so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share